today we're talking to Gabrielle Belton, who yeah. actually is one of my students but she was the girl and has been accepted to Howard University. Thank you, Gabrielle, for coming in. So tell me, when did you first realize you had dyslexia? Well, when my parents first realized I had dyslexia, it was when I was around six because I have a twin brother. So a lot of times my mom would compare like our development like with each other. So in preschool, it started from way in preschool, like my brother was reading and I wasn't reading. I like puzzles. So they didn't really push me. So like they would like, oh, Gabby likes puzzles. So let's buy a set of puzzles. Joshua likes books. That's why I'm books. And then when we went to primary school, they started to focus more on reading. And Joshua was at the top of the class. And I wasn't necessarily at the bottom of the class, but I was still kind of struggling compared to Joshua. And she came into school. And she said, I think my child has dyslexia. And they were like, oh, it's too early. And she's not at the bottom, so I don't really think so. And then I went into standard one. And my standard one teacher, I started to struggle a little more. And she's like, I think Gabby has dyslexia. So that really gave her the confidence to go and get me tested. And then what happened? Came for <laughs> yeah, I came for lessons. <laughs> so how did you manage to be so successful in despite your dyslexia um um well obviously i went to lessons and i think one, one of the first things we started in our lessons was confidence so like we would go through like famous people with dyslexia successful people with dyslexia like steve jobs and albert einstein and i think when i heard albert einstein that really was it because i'm like oh if albert einstein is the smartest one in the world had dyslexia i i could really you know do this but what was it like um this is in secondary school, did you have to really put in extra hours? What was the struggle for you and what was easy? Um, in secondary school, it was a mixture of both. Naturally, certain subjects came easier to me, like math and like physics, some sciences. But then when we started to get into like chemistry and bio and form three, I really had to put in more work, especially chemistry. So it really was more of like, oh, I really want this. And I know I can do it, so I'll, so I put in the work for it. You really had confidence in yourself. Yeah, you? it really was the confidence. And, and also, you told me earlier that you had a lot of lessons. Yes, um, I had lessons from Monday to Sunday, like every single day, seven days a week. So um, I think the rigorous, like doing it over, doing it over, like like a schedule, and basically, you know, practicing, practicing, practicing. That really helped. It helped me for SE as well. So I think that was the pattern, just doing it over and just keep at it. Just work of, hard. Basically. <laughs> so what advice do you have for other people? Um, I think my success from this actually really came from my confidence. Um, I did the extra reading, yes. So like that was like out of the way, so I didn't really have to focus on, on my struggle with reading. It really was com my confidence because I realized throughout secondary school when I did bad is when I had a lot of doubts. Like I'm like, can I do this? Can I do this? And when I wasn't really confident, I like my grades would go down. And then when I was confident in myself, I'm like, oh, I can do this. There's nothing like there's no evidence that I'm gonna fail or I can't succeed. And that's really when my grades went up. So it really was about mentally psyching myself in and having the confidence. Like, oh, I can do this. There's nothing that there's nothing that says that I can't. So believe in me. Basically. Believe in me. So um, <laughs> I know that you had help from the dyslexia association. Yeah. So uh, maybe you could share with us the telephone number for the dyslexia association. Okay. Well it's two eight one read. So you can call them and you can get tested and you can get help. Thank you, Gabby, and thank you for coming in. No problem. Thank you.